Hey, it's Imperial Makeup. I hope everybody's doing really great today. It's really sunny outside, and I wanted to show you guys a little bit about how I do my foundation and my eyebrows. I've gotten a couple of requests about that, so I hope you like the tutorial, and really excited that you guys are watching, so stay tuned if you want to know a little bit about it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing that you need for um, your foundation or anything, I have a pretty clear complexion, so all I use is concealer, and this is my concealer from MAC NW20. If you um, don't have a very clear complexion, it's easier if you can go into MAC and ask somebody and say, here, I need help to get some cover for my skin. And I hear Proactive is coming out with some foundation and things like that for people with lots of acne. So I'm gonna take my concealer thing and I usually put my concealer on after I'm done with my makeup but for this purpose so I'm just gonna do it now. I also have an old angle brush that I thought was um, just too big for anything that I do. So, so I just take the tip of that, see? And I just do that. And for, until you really know um, how much gets on your brush from yours, you can test it. Just kind of wipe that off a little bit there if you get any um, excess. So then, before you put any sort of concealer or anything on your face, you really want it to be moisturized. Um, because you don't want it to have like a flaky look when you're done with it. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just blending this out, putting this on all the parts of my skin tone that are uneven. So next I'm going to put it on my chin. And you can smooth that out, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just take my blush brush and any finishing powder from this color play palette too that I've just been using this finishing powder powder so you can see and you want to find something that agrees with your skin this is um, I like to go a little lighter than what my skin tone is so I'm just gonna take this and we're just gonna put it everywhere and this really helps to get an even finish and sometimes I even like to go down on the neck Make sure you try to go into your hairline so you don't have any lines. Once you have that, you can see that my skin tone is a lot smoother. And you can do this, I prefer after makeup. I'm gonna take a brush like this, really good for contouring. And you wanna get something that's sub several shades darker than your skin. So I have this and it is um, D squared by MAC in Bone Beige. Just feel around your cheek. And you don't wanna go underneath the cheekbone, you wanna go right on top of it. Kinda of like half and half, actually. So like half on, half off. And you just fill your angle brush with that. And right in the middle, right there. And you can see the difference that that makes. Remember half and half, so half the brush on your cheekbone and half the brush off of it. And depending on how deep you want it, you can make it darker or you can make it lighter. Feel for your cheek, which usually it connects, this is the bottom of my cheekbone right here. So we want to go half and half right there. And really want to blend it out. For the chin, I like to take it from right there on the ear and then bring it down somewhat on top of the chin, but mostly underneath it. So it goes from almost in front of the ear all the way down. Be really careful when you're first experimenting with this um, to not leave a lot of powder. And remember, the best way to figure out what looks good on you is to experiment and figure it out. And um, if you have your hair up, you can also just put it where all of your, you know, depressions are naturally in your face. So um, here's a good place. 
Another really good thing to learn contouring, if you watch drag queens, I don't know what they call themselves, but they have an exaggerated um, contouring. So if you can watch them and then just uh, do a lighter version, you'll be perfect. Next we're gonna take highlights. I like to put highlights here, just straight down the nose, right there. Right, um, I'm gonna put my blush right here, so right above the the apple of your cheek, I guess. Here. And then you just take any blush. And depending on what look you want, you can just put it on the apples of your cheek. Or if you even want further contouring, just take it right up there and even a little bit um, to the eye here. Next, we're gonna move on to the eyebrows. And um, I usually do these before makeup, so. And I'm gonna try to find someone for you guys that I can show you the way I pluck my eyebrows, the way I shape them. So these are them without um, any pencil on them. And basically what I want you guys to pay attention to, let's see if I can get close here. If you see the height of my eyebrow, there's the height and there's the height. Basically I'm just going to connect this to that height of the height of my eyebrow. So, and I'm using um, a MAC pencil in Ling Green. See, and then there's the color. I prefer to go, because um, I can't really see my eyebrows that well in stores, so I like to have people help me. So basically, I'm just gonna try and get as close as I can for you guys, so you can see. So, from here to there. So for you guys, I'll just mark the height of my eyebrow. You can see that there. And I'm just gonna connect this to that. And then we're gonna do the same thing from that height of the eyebrow. We're just gonna connect to the end of the straight line. So there's the shape. You can see it looks a little funny right now. I'm putting it on a little darker for you guys so you can see it. So. Then you're just going to want to take your pencil and color in the line. Next, um, we're going to do the same thing from here. I'd like to connect the highest point from here down to here. So there's my line connecting that. Then you just fill in the front part. I usually just take my finger and kind of wear it down just a little bit, just to give it that, you know, less of a hard line. But still the definition that I want. And you can have whatever shape you want. If I'm going for more dramatic, I will make the point more defined. As you can see, this is kind of round. You also want the height of your eye, um, of your eyebrow to be, if you're looking straight forward at the end of uh, where the color ends in your eye. So there you have my um, my facial routine. Before and after I put on my makeup, these are my eyebrows. And they look a little intense right now because I have no makeup on, but um, that's okay. Feel free to pause and fast forward through these videos as you need to. Um, they're here to teach you a little bit what I know. So thanks for watching. And keep rating and commenting and subscribing. And hope to see you soon.